sorry. I know I promised superheroes, but there have been complications with my editing software, and I can't get it up for today or last week, and I've been battling with it for so long. So hopefully I'll be able to get that up for you next week, but I'm trying to film a video. But today I'm going to do a review on the show called Carnival. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but I spent the last couple of days at Amy's and we finished it, uh, season one, in less than 24 hours. Carnival is one of the best shows I've ever seen. It had one of the most intense and compelling storylines I have ever witnessed in a show. Everything from the sets, to the props, to the actors, to their portrayal of the characters, to the costumes was absolutely top notch. And it's just one of the best quality shows I've ever set eyes on. Carnival is a show that's set during the Depression, and the basic storyline is that there are two people, each generation born, one of good and one of evil. And these two characters are key players in this proxy war between heaven and hell. Um, so you get two different storylines in the show. In the beginning you meet the character Ben Hawkins, and Ben Hawkins is what you might call the main character of the show. He's the one that you follow in the actual carnival. So he gets picked up by these carnies in the beginning, and these carnies know more about his power than he knows about it. Um, and what his power is, is that he can bring things back to life, but with the price of something around him having to die. The other storyline follows brother Justin Crow, who also has a power, but his power is to show you your greatest sin and make you either pay for it or um, gain forgiveness from it. His, his story is about him and his church and his relationship with his sister and the people around him. I'd say um, Justin's storyline is probably my favorite because it's just it's so good and he like I said he's the character that you kind of get to know more of the backstory of um, but it seems like every character has their own sort of secret and there's lots of little uh, subplots with the minor characters in the carnival and they're all intertwined and it's just oh it's beautiful it's so brilliantly twisted and dark and yeah, I can't say enough good things about it honestly just go and watch it I think one of the best things about this show, aside from the story and from the actors and the characters that they portray, is the sets and the costumes. Every dirt is a big factor in this show. Everything is really dirty, it's really grimy, everything's dusty because they're, uh, they're in Texas. Are they in Texas? I think they're in Texas. Don't quote me on that, I can't remember. Um, so everything's really, really dirty. And of course they're in the Great Depression so there isn't much money, although the Carnies would have more money because that's what they do. The only downfall with this show is really for the fans. It's not in the show, it's not a part of the show, it's the fact that the show was cancelled. And all of the different plot lines aren't resolved. And it's really frustrating that shows like this, shows with that are such good quality, aren't able to continue when there are shows out there that really shouldn't have been put on the air to begin with. Um, and I guess to each their own. I know for a fact a few of you would enjoy this show. So if you're looking for a good story about good versus evil with a little bit of magic and a lot of dirt, check out Carnival. Worth it. So that's it. I get back to me on how you enjoy the show because I know some of you will probably start watching it. Um, if there are shows that you guys think don't get enough rep, Comment it below because I'm always looking for new shows to watch. Um, I'm almost done Supernatural. I'm going to finish watching 24 soon and Robin Hood. And I think those are the only three shows I need to catch up on, but I'm probably forgetting something. Dollhouse. I need to catch up on Dollhouse too. I think that's it. So I'm going to be out of shows to watch soon. So comment down below with suggestions of shows um, or make video responses. And I'll see you guys next Tuesday. It was the heat of the moment. I was standing in a puddle the entire time.